Sometimes you just need to feel the pressure. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I wanted to share this compression cover that I designed for the shelving unit I'm building for my Harbor Freight small parts boxes. In a prior episode where I developed the tapered cap and shared it with you guys, I mentioned that I'm using half inch electrical conduit as the shelving support units for this predominantly 3D printed unit. Now with that, some of them are recessed and I needed a cover to finish them off. So with that, the cut pieces have irregular openings and I needed to be able to conform to that. So by creating this pressure fit cover, it kind of solved that problem. And I wanted to share with you the design of these pressure fit lips, teeth, whatever you want to refer to these as, because I thought this was rather unique and also very helpful. So what I did is over here, I used my bolt pattern creator. And if we take a little bit of a look at this and we can see the how I use the bolt pattern to knock this out. Now, the interesting thing about this in order to make the compression work the opening up here is larger than the opening down here so these two pieces can come together as they enter the pipe and then down here this base is also wider than the top as well as compression is less down here will get tight as it's pressed in and these fingers will basically fold inward or adapt to the inside of the pipe um, inner diameter. So I thought this was really a unique use of the bolt pattern function that I developed a long time ago in OpenSCAD. So kind of a reuse of code here and as you can see. So hopefully you found it interesting and again if you've got to you know make any type of pressure fit caps or whatever you can basically just you know borrow this code you know apply it and it should work in different circumstances. So hopefully you found this interesting and inspiring and if you did hey definitely pound that uh, like button down there subscribe to the channel i try to put out a lot of new content on a regular basis a little bit hit or miss or sometimes but i'm definitely alive and active in the open scad community so cheers and see you in the next video where we design something else cool